Welcome everybody. This is The Report and we are so happy and delighted to have with us the mechanic, the musician, the technician, Mr. Christopher 540. Everybody give him a hand. Thanks man, I'm happy to be here. We have been hearing so much about you man. Um, I've seen a couple of your challenges, a couple of your um, YouTube stuff, your pranks and all. Um, you're a YouTuber, right? Yeah, that's right. So tell us, why have you chosen YouTube to be your platform? And first off, um, I'm a big fan of a lot of YouTubers um, that I watch daily. Sometimes I can't even sleep at night because I'm, I'm on YouTube. So, um, yep, um, my YouTube channel, man, it's, it's, I'm corny. So that's where a lot of the laughter come from. Um, but yeah, YouTube, man, it's a full-time job and I haven't fully committed to it, but I will be committing soon. Uh, trying to post every day, you know, that type of thing, but it's coming. Wow, so what kind of content do you upload? Um, Cause I know a lot of couple other YouTubers, they have a lot of different content, some drama, that type of stuff. So what are you uploading? Yeah, I've done a couple challenges, a couple pranks, um, some vlogs and some tech stuff. Me showing myself, um, really repairing some iPads and stuff. Ah, tech repairs. Um, you, you're jumping the gun on me a little bit, but okay, so let's talk about the tech repairs. Um, tell us about your business. Yep, I'm the sole owner of Big Time Tech Repair here in Rocky Mountain, North Carolina. Um, I repair uh, iPhones, iPads, Android tablets, Android phones. Um, man, I repair so much stuff, even from front bumpers on cars to refrigerators, um, get it from my granddad. Um, but I repair so much, man, it's crazy. <laughs> All right, Jack. Yep, I had people call me Jack before, so hey, just call me Jack. So I feel that everyone has a calling of their life, and God has placed them here for a specific reason. What is your calling? Yeah, I feel like my natural calling is to empower and to uh, encourage people, uh, because I see so much that's in people, um, and sometimes we need that push or we need somebody to bring it out of us. I feel like my spiritual calling is behind the organ where I play every Sunday morning at 9 o'clock a.m. and 11 o'clock. Ah, we're learning a lot of new things about you. So what instruments do you play and how many? Yeah, I play organ, keyboard, bass guitar. Um, I thought about learning the drums, but that's too much work for me. Um, and I do tinkle a little bit on the guitar. So, your family's music getting clown, or is this just a gift that only hit you? Yeah, I learned at an early age due to my mom, Sheila Farmer. Hey, mom. Love the camera, whichever camera. Um, yep, yeah, um, my granddaddy who bought me my first keyboard, who was my Superman. Um, my family's pretty much musically inclined. Uh, everybody pretty much plays or sings. Um, you gotta do something or you can be the outcast in the family. So, who are your life influences or the people that you look up to that kind of keeps you going and be motivated to continue? I um, mean, yeah, I got a couple of influences. Um, my granddad, for one, who um, is who plays multiple instruments and, like I said, bought me my first keyboard. Um, I started at my home church, New Bethel, um, where uh, my aunt Pinky, who played piano, and Deacon Cooper, um, or Minister Cooper, um, who really uh, showed me the ropes, um, gave me the foundation. Also, too, um, Minister Robin Dunn, I went to her class where she had me teaching the class on my second day um, of lessons. So, um, shout out to you all. I love you all for um, the hand you had in my life as far as expanding my gift. Oh, wow. So, let's switch gears a little bit. Um, you told me about a, a complication that you had as a baby, um, an illness or an attack of the devil um, that you referred to. Um, tell us about that. Are you still kind of dealing with that now or have you been totally healed of it? Yes, um, I had bad seizures as a baby um, where, um, from my understanding, um, I think I died and um, was brought back. Um, but the doctor said that I would be not able to do anything on my own. I would need assistance from someone at all times. But here I am, YouTuber, musician. Um, I live alone, drive alone. So I thank God for everything he's done in my life and how he's blessed me to be able to be here at this point of my life um, and still be alive. And I don't suffer from any seizures anymore. Um, might get some light head, head in this because of blood pressure, but um, 
yeah, the seizure thing out the door, God has healed me completely um, because of a praying family. That's the main thing, having a praying family um, who really pray uh, that the attack of the devil uh, would not be fulfilled, but only the glory of God. Well, this concludes our interview with Mr. Christopher Former, Mr. 540. Anything you want to say? Yeah, first of all, go subscribe and go like the 540 channel and join the 540 gang. I'll just go in the search and type in Mr. Dot space 540 and you'll see me come up um, at the bottom of the screen. So go like. Um, I will have a lot of pranks, a lot of challenges, more stuff coming up soon. So look, remember that you can do all things through Christ who strengthens you. And there's no man who can tear you down. All right? Peace. See y'all next time with the report.